get that 69, guys. Let's get that 69. There's no game like Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 is is absolutely awesome. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, I don't know. I watched I was watching a little bit of Zelda 2 speedruns today. And I realized that after playing that game, I can now like understand how the speedruns are and it's Kind of fun to watch the Zelda 2 speedrun. percent in Zelda 2 I don't know what a hundred percent is in that game even is a hundred percent the the hundred percent all keys or I don't know what a hundred percent is like you get all the magic all the heart containers all the spells all the moves and then you beat all the palaces and that's it or do you, is all keys a different category 100% no major glitches versus 100% major gl I don't even know. The only thing that I saw today and I just stumbled on it was any percent no no major glitches. That's what I stumbled on today. How old was I when I first played Mario 3? It's probably like two or three years old. Parents probably just put the controller in my hand. Is it classified as 100% all keys? Okay, so you probably get all the power-ups and everything. And all the upgrades, all the moves, spells, plus all the keys as well. Nice. 293 in the door. 292. Mitch Mitch. He's a man. If anyone can 69, Mitch sure can. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, I didn't get the tunnel, did I? I don't think I got the tunnel. Yeah, I don't think so. I saw the tunnel emote and I was like, wait a minute. Two movements of one in this world, and that's it. So this is good, easily a 505. Maybe a 506. Yo. Dub, what's up, man? Or is it dude? I funneled. Yeah, I funneled.
Yo, SMB, what's going on, dude? Oh, almost the 506, dude. So close. You mean pause on the Navy ship? Oh, don't worry. I'll pause somewhere in this run. Ducking there actually kind of makes me feel a little better. Focus. Any percent warp list is all around probably just the best category. Simply because it displays almost everything that you would have to think about in this game. Well as you don't you get to skip a lot of the auto scrollers. Any percent is too short, three minutes that's trash, boring, not rewarding, you get no self-satisfaction. Any percent no wrong warp is incredibly important in terms of getting good at World 8 and performing under the pressure of getting no hands. Warpless is the best category to display really good speed, good strategies, skipping auto scrollers, inventory management, item, item usage, all that stuff. Warpless is the best for all of that stuff. A hundred percent is just a little too long at the start. A hundred percent's just a little too... Uh, you know what I mean? A couple too many auto-scrollers. But hey, look at it this way. Every auto-scroller that you do, you do the same amount of time as I do. So if there's 20 minutes auto-scrollers in this game, then that's 20 minutes less that you have to worry about. Right? So if you go to speedrun 100%, you can be like, ah, oh, I only have to worry about like 50 minutes of the run. That's pretty good. Best logic. Yo, Iraq vet, what's up? Uh, I might go back to all forts. I don't like resetting in World 2 if I don't get the Hammer Brother. I might go back to all forts. I'm not sure, though. Uh, if you type in exclamation tourney, T-O-U-N-E-Y, there'll be a link there to my Mario 3 tournament. And that has an explanation of almost everything. Yo, Gizmo, what's going on? Yo, 
Yeah, I'm hosting a Mario 3 tournament cash prize. It's gonna be a warpless tournament, but it's gonna be point system, so... Uh, time and RNG actually isn't really much of a factor in it, which is really good. Really, really good. What is with my numbers, man? I don't understand this. Was I racist on stream or something? Like, I don't get it. What's a mount? Like... Like a mount? Like in an MMORPG or something? <laughs> like a horse? Or sometimes a dragon? Depending on what fantasy you're in? Oh, you're talking about my ad. Yeah, it's talking about a mount in an MMO. Twitch is using YouTube. What is that? What does that mean, lad? Yeah, I don't know. My, my numbers have been absolute trash on Twitch after coming back from the uh, speedrun session. It's very weird. It's been very strange. It's not, it's not like my channel to be like that. I wonder if that algorithm is messing with people knowing that I've gone live. Right? Like, if, if someone doesn't get a notification, like, that's bad, right? If, if notifications aren't sent out, that's really bad. Sometimes I don't get notifications when somebody goes live, and it pisses me off. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not like... It's not like... Two... After, after close to an hour of streaming, having, like... High 200 viewers, that's like fucking five years ago for me. So it's a concern. It's a concern. You don't get my notifications lately? Yeah, see, that's a big... That's a big no-no. Twitch. What's going on, Twitch? Changing dashboards on us. Gotta make a living here, Twitch. You can't be fucking juking me around. See, you missed my world record because you didn't get a notification. The video game? Okay. The video game awards better have one speedrunning award in it. Right? I'm not crazy to think that if it's going to be a video game awards, there's got to be one speedrunning award in there, right? Because it's it's not Twitch awards, right? It's it's a video game awards, not Twitch awards. It's a video game award. Who cares about those awards? I don't really care about them. <laughs> Let's be honest. Wow, somebody got biggest kill streak in Fortnite. Like it's already all over YouTube, so Uh I'm not concerned I'm not concerned what other channels are on at the same time that I am on based on based on my numbers. I'm concerned if people are getting notified and if Twitch is changing their algorithms. Because then everyone gets confused, right? <laughs> That's it. Nobody stream when I stream. Okay? I'm gonna send an email out everyone I know who streams and be like, can you not stream when I stream, please? No. What's important is you, people getting notified when I go live. That's very important. 
but they better have they better have a speed run something on the video game awards don't cross the streams right you know they won't now doesn't that bother you guys is speedrunning not good enough to, to be given awards? Right? Are speedrunners and retro games not, not video games anymore? Fifteen fifty-two. Hopefully, I save a bit of time. at least tell me Smash Brothers Melee players will be on there, right? They're, they're, they'll be on there, right? In the Video Game Awards. Smash players, I can imagine. I guess as long as Smash Brothers is there, it's good enough. It is, man, it is. That's exactly it, Falcon Pinch. Uh so I so I said that it's probably gonna be mainly Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex Legends. Maybe Gears of War 5. Maybe some Street Fighter. Um, best Video Game Artist Awards for those six games, probably. Best Programming for those six games. Yeah, World of Warcraft. You know, and that's, that's really it, I guess. If it's the Video Game Awards, it doesn't really necessarily go to the Video Game Players, does it? Is that what it's based around? The players or the producers, artists, and all that stuff? Best esports team coach. Yeah, Overwatch will be in there. Maybe Dark Souls. I'd like to see some Dark. Like, how does Dark Souls not make it into the video game awards? Please tell me there's gonna be some Dark Souls stuff. dark holes do they only go based off of the year so it's only things that have happened in 2019 okay well that puts it in a little bit better perspective that's fucking boring though video games video games don't have massive diversity like like movies do where where b movies have a chance at winning awards in a year Only a small handful of good games came out in 2019. And by small handful, like, it's a pretty big handful, but... It's like... What are they gonna do? Fortnite update, Gears of War 5, maybe a couple Pokemon games came out. Like, we got a bunch of dope games, yeah, but in, but in the video game world... It's not like it's a, a massive amount of games that come out where these awards are like really all over the place. And like, the skew in popularity 
The skew in popularity is so, like, one-sided with video games. Nobody gives a shit. Like, do you guys remember the game Jump King that came out? Like, that won't get nominated for anything, but that was a dope game, man. That was a pretty good game. If somebody popular played Jump King, then Jump King would become popular. Like, somebody really popular. Yeah, nominees are broken down into family, so Nintendo. Strategy, RPG, and Indie. So, it's everything... Forzen played it. Is Forzen at the peak of his popularity like he was five years ago? Forzen will never die, man. Forzen's too. Forzen has created too many good memes. like embarrassed as a twitch streamer with these numbers this is like embarrassing i need to go like cry in the shower or something nintendo is involved nintendo is the family genre crying stream I would not stream myself in the shower, thank you very much. You guys do not get the luxury of watching me shower. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Not in the shower, only in the bath water. You would stream me in the shower? I don't take offense. I don't think anyone in the world should take offense if somebody else doesn't want to watch them in the shower. I think that's a very natural non-offensive thing. Yo, do you think Twitch would do anything shady like turning off today's notifications so that they get the most audience? <laughs> I don't think they would need to do that. Yeah, that's, well, that's what I mean. I mean, the, the low numbers in my channel aren't a reflection of, of just me in general, right? We all know my fan base. And it's low, for, it's low for a lot of other people today as well. It's gotta just be the Game Awards, right? But the Game Awards just started. Yeah, I kind of went live half an hour before the Game Awards. I'm not gonna lie, if I wasn't streaming, I'd probably have the Game Awards on. I mean, let's face it. Yo, paint, what's going on, dude? For the 69. That's right, for the 69. It's P speed, man. I'm on a I'm on a downward spiral for this P speed. I should just give out my own awards. Especially with all the sponsors. Yeah, it's like Twitch throttling everything towards their their show right it's like a 
They're like premiering what, like a massive show, right? But I don't think Twitch would do anything like that. I don't think they'd like stop daily notifications for people. That doesn't make any sense. I might be looking too far in. Smash Brothers 1, best fighting game. That's good, that's good. It's weird, because a lot of people are, like, so hyped up to go watch this. This awards, and then at the end, I don't think anyone's really gonna care about any of this stuff. I've always found that video games is, is so much more of, like, a personal thing for people. Some people like art, some people like physics, some people like... Who knows, the story? If they're announcing new games and stuff, then yeah, we're all watching... We're all watching it for the update. Let's face it, then. There for the... Exactly. Exactly, dude. Exactly. We're all there for... It's like one big ad for updates. Award shows are the hand jobs of television shows. Hey, I'm all in favor of people getting awards. We're getting there, Gizmo. People are realizing Mitch is on, and I, they didn't get notified, and that we're all gonna find out and watch. The update's gonna be on YouTube anyway, so I'll just watch it there in the comfort of my own pajamas, and by pajamas I mean nakedness in my chair. Why would I? Why would I watch the game shows on stream? When I can just watch it naked later. I'm all for- No, no, I'm all for people getting awards. Fuck yeah, dude. If, if you deserve award, you should definitely get it. And it's not- Sometimes it's not just about the reward, it's the recognition. People realize that you deserve it. And that's because people love it. And that's a, that's a really warm-hearted feeling. Okay, yeah, so, so, at, at first, that was my bad. I thought the game awards were gonna be more revolved around, like, why Fortnite is so good and why, like, the person streaming Fortnite is so good, too. Then that makes sense that there wouldn't be speedrunning in it. That makes sense. 280809 turn back epic's the real content creator I was talking with Haxer uh, last night or today, and we've concluded that he has the world record for movements of one in World 5. 
Mainly because he has video proof to back it up. Nobody would naturally believe it. You'd never believe it. I, I don't think I've ever seen a movement of one in this world. I mean, the RNG I got yesterday was absolutely insane, yes. But... We're gonna... We've decided to create a new a new category on the, on the primary leaderboard for Mario Bros. 3. And the category is gonna be called Movements of One in World 5. I don't rem dude, I honestly don't remember the the awards last year being big, but they were big. I love the tee hee. I kind of wish my world two split was plus two seconds. Cause then these splits would be really silly. Any, any sentence followed by teehee is like the best sentence. What is the new Hardy NES? I haven't announced it yet. We'll, we'll find out whenever I launch it. That was close, because I face bonked. I was a little worried there. Oh, they got Green Day performing. Wow. What the hell is going on with Twitch, man? At TwitchCon, it was Blink-182, and at the Game Awards, it's Green Day. Couldn't have picked the most outdated fans. Don't get me wrong, I love Blink 182, but I don't love 2020 Blink 182. Green Day was cool, but Green Day was 1999 cool. They should just get a Nirvana cover band next. No, it's not Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Hey, SMB3 is cool because I make it cool. No, Green Day's dope. I love the Game Awards, man. I think it's a good idea. I trash on it because I love it. It's like friendly... It's like friendly trashing. It's like when I tell Pooh Bear to go fuck himself because he stopped my console. It's all in good love. I don't think I've actually said anything bad about him stopping my console before. And I never would. I would never intentionally try and make him feel bad. He didn't mean to do it. Oh no, he was passionate about his gameplay and when he messed up, he expressed it naturally. Oh no. That's right, GDQ. Consoles on tables. Consoles on tables.
Nirvana cover band, you mean Foo Fighters? Who mentioned the stomp, the stomp earlier, really? <laughs> it never goes away. It never goes away. He probably read a message, somebody brought it up, and he's like, Ugh, I gotta talk about it again today. Exactly, Season. Exactly. See, we're still there. We did- we did make it a good time. I think the worst part about the- the Pooh Bear console stomp wasn't the first one. Wasn't the crash. It wasn't the fact that his didn't crash. Okay? We're still not at the worst part about the Pooh Stomp, okay? It wasn't the second crash. It wasn't the fact that I was gonna beat Bowser for the first time at GDQ with the hammer suit. It wasn't the fact that I was gonna win. Nope. That's not the worst part of it. The worst part of the Pooh Stomp was that I had to do the any percent category after that. It wasn't that the wrong war failed. It was that I had to do the wrong war. That made it the worst. That was the worst part of it all. <laughs> now, if we could just if we could have just got Pooh Bear to Pooh Stomp during the any percent run, then it would have been awesome. That would have been bring on the stomps, man. Get me out of that category. Three minutes and fifteen seconds or not, I don't care. Get me out of there. Oh, of course. I would, I, yeah, I would definitely never be upset by anything like that. Like, it sucks for me because my run got, like, destroyed, but at the same time, he caused it, so, like, it was pretty, it was pretty rough for him, too, and I'd never get mad at anything like that. It kind of made the whole performance less stressful. We didn't actually have to worry about who was gonna win and, and all that stuff. We didn't whip. The first 20 minutes of the race was amazing because we were neck and neck, he was in the lead, it was a good time, man, it was crazy. And then after the stomp, it was like so much stress lift off both of our shoulders. It was good. It was good. Eight, come on, eight seconds. Damn it! How much sleep did I get today? Uh, I got a good chunk of sleep, why? Yeah, we plan we planned the poo stomp the whole time. We planned it to create the most iconic stompage that is still going. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Yoshi's Island was, yeah, that was a, a hint to what was to come. It was G-Bads, everyone! He set it up! was G bad He's I bet G bads is working with the GDQ staff the whole time. He was like, "All right. G, G bads wrote out the whole you know, all the scientific background on how to make the crash a perfect a perfect system." The the equation was just right to make it work. Very nice work. Who 
Goose Stomp was an inside job. That it was. Clips our first try in the world record. Definitely get some sleep, Captain. Definitely get some sleep, man. If that's not planned, G-Bats, I don't know what is. It's almost like GDQ knew exactly where you'd be sitting. Interesting. face rub there that was close Xbox announced? We already knew there was a new Xbox coming. We know there's a new PlayStation coming and a new Xbox. Uh, did I actually just... Alright. New Xbox is coming. Okie dokie. 